Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Renee. And if you are returning, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate your support. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Um, this will be a pick a card reading. What your future self wants you to know. Um, and you have three cards to choose from. You have the King of Pentacles with the beautiful lavender uh, amethyst stone. You have the Temperance with the beautiful uh, quartz stone. And you have the Will of Fortune with the lapis stone. Go ahead and take a moment to choose your deck and we'll get started. Okay, we have, for power number two, we have the death card. We have the hermits. We have the five of swords. We have the four of cups. We have, okay, the queen of cups right underneath the king. We have the three of cups, lots of cups in this reading. We have the Hierophants. We have the Lovers. Okay. And we have the Four of Wands. Okay, pile number one. Okay, with the King of Pentacles and the Death card. Yeah, I totally feel like you're birthing new solutions. This is a full transformation. This is you bringing something to a close and beginning something brand new. You may be ending a job, ending a career. You may be ending some sort of situation in your life, but you're transforming into something totally brand new. This could be a new career that you're just jumping into or you're, you've been studying for, but I feel like you're making a total turnaround in your situation. With the Hermit and the Five of Swords, wow. I feel like, you know, pile number one, I feel like you've been really looking for answers. You're trying to find some source to gravitate to, to make these things come to life. I really feel like you're, you're thinking things through and you're trying very hard to figure things out, especially with this five of swords here. I feel like you're kind of contemplating. You're going against the grain with your thoughts, your feelings. And I feel like maybe with this situation, you may be overthinking this situation. And I feel like you're getting very frustrated. You're getting very frustrated with the situation because you're not quite sure where this income is gonna come from if this new thing that you're pursuing is going to bring in the same income level that you were at before or if you're going to progress if you if your ends meets are going to meet together do you get what i'm saying but i feel like that's bringing a lot of frustration that might be bringing some conflicted energies as well. I feel like you're kind of leaning towards negative energies. You're, and I, I really want you to view yourself as victorious. Look more to the positive energies in this situation. That's going to bring you more abundance. That's going to manifest something more easily. And I feel like you're actually doing that. But I feel like you're doing that with support. Uh, with the King of Queen, excuse me, with the Queen of Cups energy. I feel like you are really being supported in your situation. Maybe someone is coming in to help you out, um, especially with the Three of Cups next to it. But I feel like you are really nurturing 
some kind of situation that's going to bring more abundance into your life. You're really putting the energy into it. Look, look how she's looking at that cup. She's totally enticed by what that cup is bringing to her. She's totally caressing it. She's nurturing it. She is fully supporting it on her lap. And that's what I feel like you're doing. I feel like you're, you're really putting in the effort to bring something to life. And I feel like you're gaining support. You're, you're looking to your family for support or you're looking to your friends. But I feel like someone is there for you to lean on. Okay, you've got the Hierophant and the Lovers. Okay. With the Hierophant and the Lovers. I feel like your future self is letting you know that everything is going to be just fine. That you're going to gain love if that's what you're looking for. You're going to gain success, balance. You're going to gain your dreams, desires. Um, with the lovers and the hierophants, I feel like your future self is telling you that you you very... that marriage is definitely in your future definitely happy family spiritual success love a lot of abundance happiness all that is greatly coming to you i feel like you're so the, these are some very strong cards let me tell you that. These are some very strong cards. Now with the Hierophant, this is you really touching your spiritual side in a way that you haven't before. And with the lovers next to the Hierophant, this is definitely marriage. This, These are two cards of marriage, two cards of love, two cards of soulmate energy. This is a union that's going to be transpiring. Your future self is letting you know that all is going to be well. You're going to have happiness. You're going to have celebrations. You're going to have family, strong units. Lots of stability. The Four of Wands is a beautiful card for uh, celebrations, family reunions. This is these three cards together are if you're looking for love, this is definitely what you want to see. Definitely. Yeah, and your future self wants you to know that this is coming to you. This is coming. Your future self is already feeling this, this energy, this nature. And they're, they're letting you know this is coming. This is definitely coming. Okay, let's get some more. Yeah, you're going to be discovering what the future holds. And your future self is letting you know that all these doors are going to be opened for you. All these doors are ready for you to um, feel, to enjoy. And your future self is also letting you know that you have endless possibilities. Whatever your heart's desire, you have that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and clarify real quick. What's this Five of Swords and Four of Cups is? I want to know more about this Five of Swords and Four of Cups. 
I feel like it's conflicted thoughts and frustration. But tell me more about this. How can this person get through this conflict or frustration? What can they do? Judgment. Okay. Wow. Very strong message. Okay, I feel like your spirit self is letting you know that the answers are going to come. That all these thoughts are going to be removed. Um, your frustration is going to be eased. These conflicted thoughts and energies, the negative energies that are surrounding you, are going to be taken away. You're going to go through... A decision there's going to be a decision that you're going to have to make and I feel like your future self is going to let you know what is the right path for you to take tell me more about this judgment card what decision will they have to make the Four of Swords. Okay. 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 No, I get it. Um, your future self is letting you know that there's decisions that you're going to have to make. There's decisions that are for your greater good. And they're going to bring renewal. They're going to bring balance. They're going to bring recovery from the situation. Um, you're no longer going to have those thoughts. Now, I'm not saying you are never going to have those thoughts because we always have frustrations. We always have thoughts that are kind of conflicting, um, especially when we need to make a decision. But I think that your, your uh, future self is letting you know that the decision that you're going to be led to make is going to be the right decision. You're going to move into a renewal. You're going to recover from any um, doubts. Any feeling of lack that you have. Because you are transforming. And this reading ends very beautifully. Very beautifully. Yeah, and you have the Ten of Wands on the bottom. And see, with this Ten of Wands, he's, he's laying down his burdens. He's no longer feeling the weight of those burdens. So and I feel like that's what you're doing. I feel like you're laying down your burdens. You're um, not dwelling on what needs to be done, what needs to be paid, what needs to be taken care of. You're, you're setting your priorities. You're just taking them as they come. You're going with the flow of things. Okay, very beautiful energy. Okay, if this message resonates with you, power number one, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. And many blessings to you. And you also have the ability to join a membership for support of my channel. So I appreciate you. And I appreciate all of your great support, all of your likes, and your comments. I really enjoy reading those. So yes, thank you so very much. This is your reading, pile number one. Okay, if you chose pile number two, the temperance card and the um, quartz crystal, this reading is for you. Let's see what we have. We have temperance. We have the hermits. We have the seven of wands. The lovers, okay. King of Cups. We have the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Wands. 
the Six of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Three of Wands, lots of wands in this reading. And we have Strength and the Ten of Cups. Wow, beautiful energy here, pile number two. Okay, um, if you chose the Temperance, you may be going through some sort of healing, some sort of needing some sort of balance. And I feel like you're uh, really asking those important questions. You're really dwelling in the secret place. You may be doing shadow work. You may be really contemplating on certain feelings that you have because you also have the Seven of Wands, which lets me know that you're really building up walls, you're setting boundaries. Um, you, you may be very defensive at this time. Um, I feel like you, you are in a mode of really protecting yourself, protecting your energy, protecting what you love. Now you also have the lovers and the King of Cups. So I feel like with this lover situation, I feel like this is your future self letting you know that if you're looking for love, love is definitely going to come. This King of Cups is going to come to provide you with support, love, thoughtful energy, uh, support. He's going to provide you with an empathetic ear when you need it. But I feel like love is definitely coming your way, pile number two. Love is definitely coming. And uh, your future self wants to let you know that you have strength. You have enough strength to endure whatever that you, you're going through so that you have the strength for the situation. Um, I feel like you have a lot of courage. You need to go into this situation fearless is what your future self is letting me know. So, yeah, it's beautiful energy. Now, with the, especially with the temperance and this eight of cups, I feel like you feel the need of walking away from something that no longer serves your purposes, that no longer gives you joy. Now, this may be a person. This may be a place. This may be just personal possessions, but I feel like you're letting go of something that, that no longer brings you joy. And I feel like your future self is letting you know that it's okay to let this go. You have room in your life for new things, new adventures, because you have the Eight of Wands and the Six of Wands. So I feel like a lot of new things are gonna be coming to you future self wants to let you know that you're going to have a lot of communication. You're going to take a lot of action in the future. Um, and this could be the very near future because you, the, the eight of wands moves very quickly. It's full of action, full of communication. Um, and the six of wands is a big victory. So this is something that's going to bring you a lot of success, a lot of victory, a lot of recognition. People are going to be looking at you and wanting to be more like you because your future self is letting you know that you are the queen of pinnacles. You are very strong. You're very practical. You're very resourceful. I feel like you're very desirable at this moment also, especially with this lovers right above the, the queen of pinnacles. I feel like you're very desirable and I feel like you're really, I, I feel like your future self is letting you know that the future is very bright. To make your plans for the future. It's okay to make your plans. Your future is very bright. Okay, you also have the Ten of Cups. So I feel like whatever situation that you're going to be going through, I feel like it's going to be very happy. It's going to bring you a lot of joy and contentment. And um, I feel like, especially with this lovers, the king of cups and the strength, 
I feel like this is a beautiful situation that your future self is letting you know that you're coming into. You're coming into your complete happiness, your complete joy. Um, this is you starting a family. This is you getting married, having that dream job. This is your dreams coming true with this Ten of Cups. And I feel like your future self is letting you know to get ready for the abundance. Get ready for the abundance. Be fearless. Be courageous. You got this, power number two. Definitely, you got this. Okay. Let's get an oracle card to finish this off. What does your future self want to let you know about this dream? What does your future self want to let you know? Yeah. Your future self wants to let you know that you have earth magic. And this could also be the um, earth energy that's coming in here. Um, so yeah, the person that you may be meeting may be your earth sign. So very interesting. And you also have time machine on the bottom. So that's really wheel of fortune kind of energy. So I think your future self is letting you know that your good fortune is coming. Your good fortune is on the way. Hang tight. Be strong. Be fearless. Because you have success, abundance, love, happiness. It's all going to be coming very quickly. You're going to be taking inspired action on this. You have hope and recovery. Very beautiful energy, pile number two. Okay, if this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on your situation. And I do have memberships available, so if you'd like to support my channel, please feel free to. And I appreciate all of your support. I really enjoy reading all of your comments, and I appreciate your likes. Okay, pound number two, that is for you. Hello, pound number three, this reading is for you. If you chose the Wheel of Fortune and the Lapis Stone, this reading is for you. Let's see what we have here. We have the Six of Swords. We have the Ace of Cups. We have the Four of Swords. We have the High Priestess. We have the Three of Pentacles. Wow, okay. The Ace of Swords. The King of Pentacles. The Queen of Swords, okay. The Nine of Cups. And we have one more card. We have the Ace of Wands. Three aces in this reading. Wow. Okay. So, power number three. I feel like you're going through a new beginning. Definitely. Not only do you have the Wheel of Fortune energy, which is moving you through changes, which may be re redirecting your course in a certain situation or maybe in your life, you have all these aces this is definitely a new beginning this is a new beginning in creative energy new beginning in your thought processes new beginning in love something that you're very passionate about um, but yeah i feel like <laughs> you are going to have a lot of first um 
very soon. I feel like your future self is letting you know that, um, especially with this World of Fortune energy, that great changes are going to come. You're moving into something that's going to bring you more joy, bring you more calmness, more satisfaction. It's going to take you away from those feelings that you may have been feeling. Um, your future self wants to set your mind at ease about where you've been and where you're going. Uh, your future self wants to let you know that everything is going to be fine, that you're moving in the right direction. You're moving into calmness, into your success, into your abundance. You're moving in the right direction. Okay, you have the Ace of Cups and the Four of Swords. So yeah, I definitely feel like if it is love that you're wanting, um, I feel like, you know, this is a new beginning to something. This is you setting your priorities, really taking a look at yourself, your needs, your wants, and now you're going for that. Your future self is letting you know that it's okay to take care of yourself. You can't always take care of everybody else's needs. You have to take care of yourself. Put yourself as a priority and, you know, set your sights out on something that you're very passionate about. Something that's going to bring you love, joy, satisfaction. Um, something that's going to really fulfill your needs. And I feel like you, your future self is letting you know that you're doing that with this Ace of Cups. That's what's coming forward for you because you're putting yourself first. And I feel like with this High Priestess energy, I feel like you are really trusting yourself. You're trusting it in your direction. Okay, yeah, you may have new people coming into your life. This may be new friends, new colleagues. Um, someone that brings your thought processes to a natural high. But I feel like this is a new beginning in um, setting your goals, really setting your new ideas, getting the answers that you have been wanting and needing to resolve a certain situation. I feel like your spirit self is letting you know that you have support in this situation, that you're not alone. Okay, so you have the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. So I feel like your future self is letting you know that someone resourceful is coming into your life. Someone resourceful, someone who wants to support you. This also may be a wealthy person. This may be someone who is able to make changes in your life. And and with the Six of Swords, you may be moving in with this person. Yeah. But this is someone who's a good investor. They're very practical, but they're also very reliable. You can rely on them. They're very dependable. They're there when you need them. And I feel like this person also... Um, is very supportive, is kind of changing your way of thinking. I feel like this person is very self-sufficient. This person has no trouble making ends meet. They, they could be wealthy, they could be, they could have a, a really good job, um, could be a, a executive or have a high paying income but I feel like this person is very self-sufficient very independent um, and I feel like they're very honest they may be honest to a fault to where sometimes you don't want to hear the truth but I, I feel like they're gonna tell you the truth anyway and now you have the Nine of Cups. So your future self is letting you know that all of your dreams are coming true. All of your hopes, all of your wishes, your desires, your desires for love, your de desires for abundance, and most of all, your desire for change is coming through. Your desires are coming through. And this shows very strongly 
with this Ace of Wands. This is your desires that are beginning to show up. This is you taking inspired action on making this happen. And I feel like your, your future self is letting you know that this inspired action is just around the corner. I feel like you are creating something very abundant, very um, intuitively brought together. Okay, let's get an oracle card to see what your future self wants to tell you about the situation. What does your future self want to tell you? What is left to say from your future self for pile number three? Yeah, earth magic. Actually, pile number one got this as well. So I feel like it definitely this is earth energy coming through especially with this king of pentacles here um this is earth energy coming through this is someone coming in that's gonna bring their magic this could also be your energy but yes i feel like your future self is letting you know that you're gonna have so many discoveries so many things that you haven't experienced before this is uncharted sea that you're going into this is a whole new beginning with all of these aces you have three aces here and then the uncharted sea that's that's like your other ace yeah and at the bottom you have close encounters so definitely definitely love coming in if you're open to love but i feel like you have some very strong new beginnings your future self wants to let you know that you have support you are being divinely guided trust your intuition trust your gut on the situation trust that you're going in the right direction your future self is letting you know that all is well your wishes, your desires are all coming true. You have the Nine of Cups. So you have your abundance. You have your love. Whatever your heart desires, your future self is saying, it's right here. It's right here. Okay, pile number three. That is your reading. If this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on your situation. I do have memberships available. So if you would like to support my channel, I'd greatly appreciate you. I have some um, content on there that are only members only. You'll get early access to videos. And, and so forth. So there are perks to memberships if you'd like to uh, discover that part of my channel that would be great and if you would like to support me feel free to um, look in the description box. I have uh, Cash App available or PayPal if you'd like to leave a tip and thank you so much. Have a wonderful wonderful week ahead and uh, thank you for watching messages from your future self. Many blessings to you. Love and light.